Hey everybody, what's going on? In today's video, I'm going to show you how we can both sanitize and validate user input in PHP. We're going to need an HTML form to work with. I'll go ahead and create that. Here's my form. We have a text box and a button. When I click on the button, we'll execute some code. I will enclose all of my code with an if statement. We will check to see if our login button is set, if it's interacted with. If set, we're accessing post. If our login button is interacted with, let's get the username from the text box and store that within a local variable. Then let's echo. Hello. Username. So I can type in a username, press login, and we are pretending to log in. If you don't sanitize or validate your user input, somebody could write some malicious code like a cross-site script or SQL injection, such as this. You have a virus. What I did is just write some malicious JavaScript code to display you have a virus. It would be best to prevent code like that from running. One way in which we can do that is to add a filter to sanitize any user input. Instead of assigning our username directly from our post variable, we are going to use a function, the filter input function. And there are three arguments. The first argument is input post because we're using the post method. If we were using get, then this would be input get. The second argument is the name of the input, which in this case would be username. Then third is the type of filter. I'll put this on a new line because I'm running out of room. I would like to remove any special characters used in executing code. So there is a filter for that. It's filter sanitize special chars. I'm going to take this JavaScript code, paste it into my username, and we'll see if we can execute this code, which we cannot. Instead of executing the code, we are using it as output. And if I were to right click and go to view page source, any special characters are replaced. Here is that JavaScript code I entered. It's not executing because we filtered the special characters. If you ever need to filter all characters besides numbers, there is filter sanitize number int. That's another filter. Let's create a new text box for an age. Age, the name will be age. So again, let's create a new variable named age equals filter input input post because we're using post. The name of the input is age. Then the type of filter. Filter sanitize number int. Let's create a new message. You are variable age years old. If I were to type in blah, 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 and press login, we will filter all characters besides any numbers. That is the filter sanitize number int filter. Now maybe we need an email. Let's create a new text box for an email. Email, the name will be email. Email equals, again, filter input. The first argument is input post or input get if you're using get. The name of the attribute is email. The third argument is the type of filter. Filter sanitize email. Your email is variable email. I'll type in an email. Then add some illegal characters for an email, such as angle brackets and parentheses. 
and this should filter all of the illegal characters, which it does. Here's my email without those illegal characters. So those are a few ways in which you can sanitize input. Now let's validate input. Using a validate filter, if our input doesn't pass a validation test, it returns an empty string. Sanitization will strip certain characters of user input. Validation, if it doesn't pass, it just returns an empty string. So now we have variable age. Age equals, we'll use filter input again. Input post, because we're using post. The name of the input we're filtering is age. Then the type of filter. Filter validate int. If our user input isn't a number, we will assign an empty string to age. It doesn't pass the validation test. So let's check that. Let's use an if statement. We can use the empty function. If our age is empty, that means a user didn't type in a valid number. Let's echo. That number wasn't valid. Else, if our age is not empty, that means they typed in a valid number. You are age years old. Let's run this again. Uh, I'll type in a bunch of characters. Blah, 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 blah. I'll try and log in. Uh, that number wasn't valid. I'm not surprised. So now let's type in a valid number. And that seems to work. Using this filter, we can check to see if some input is only numbers. The next filter is to validate an email to see if it's in a correct format. Let's copy these two lines of code, paste them, variable email, input post. We are getting our email user input, filter validate email. If our email is empty, that email wasn't valid. Else, your email is our variable email. Okay, I'll make up some email. Press login, that seems to work. I'll type in that same email, but I'll add some illegal characters like angle brackets and parentheses. That email wasn't valid. All right, everybody, so those are a few filters you may be interested in. When accepting user input, it is a good idea to both sanitize and filter user input, just in case a user types in some malicious script. You don't want any of that. Sanitize and validate your user input whenever possible. And well, everybody, that's how to both sanitize and validate user input in PHP.